most important thing for me is to see that. Yeah, I think we've been in the crutch time since we lost our first game. Every game has been a knockout game, so I think we've been in knockout mode. So. For me, again, it's it's about our processes tomorrow. It definitely shows the character within this unit. I think we we've been really good. We knew the last two games have been must-win games if we wanted to qualify, and it shows it shows the character and determination how far we want to go in this competition. By no means are we going into tomorrow as the underdogs. We really want to win. We really we really back ourselves. I think we've put in some really good preparation over the last year or so. We've been together now. We've all worked for this day, and we really want to get underway and and show the world what we can do under pressure. Yeah, I think the boys have worked hard. We've worked smart. It's been a long time together and, and the guys have worked hard, so it's about top up. They've really prepared well, they know what we need to do and I think we're in a good space. We've had a good preparation, had the day off yesterday, a nice top up session today, all the boys are really excited. A bit of nerves obviously, there's always going to be a bit of nerves, but we just want to get on the park and, and start tomorrow. Yeah, again, you know, our bowling attack has been affected by a couple of injuries, but I think we're back to full strength tomorrow. So hopefully the boys will stand up and uh, the batters always been a good group of batters and they can be proud of what they've achieved and long may they continue. It's really important. I think, yes, we, we underperformed before this World Cup. Maybe in the first game we underperformed again, but I think we've shown that this batting unit has the quality to post 300, 350 every game. I think as a middle order we've shown that, that we can play spin now, we, we're really good. We, we can rotate track, take on the game if we need to. I think everywhere we've just shown that we're a well-balanced side and a really good unit. It must be a force to be reckoned with now. At first it was really nervous start. I think I was really nervous. I wanted to play that game because it's my home ground, obviously. So I was lucky enough to get that opportunity on, on my home ground. So yeah, it was a lot of emotions. I was really proud, happy to see my supporters as well. So it was a really great moment for me. To all of the guys, it means a lot and they're looking forward to it and we all want to win. We, we're just supporting each other. We are happy camp and it's really a great feeling to be in this camp. So we're just looking forward to, to ticking our boxes, our KPIs and just trying our best and remembering that we represent more than our families, ourselves, the team. We represent like about 60 million people. So it's, it's a great, great responsibility and it's a massive privilege. As the coaches say, we need to tick our KPIs to give ourselves a chance to actually win the game. So if we just focus on just the process and just trying to achieve those KPIs, I think we'll be up there at the victorious end. So um, I think that's what our main focus is, just trying to implement the KPIs, trying to implement our individual processes. And also, we know it's a quarterfinal, it's a big occasion and we, we're all nervous. So. We, we know we have to support each other. We did exercises this morning about how each individual is feeling so we can help each other and how to just focus on just executing and just performing at our, our best abilities. We played them in the 2018 World Cup uh, as well, so we generally play them at World Cups. And we know that their natural strength is obviously their spinners, but they've got some good young seamers as well. You know, a couple of good left arm seamers, a couple of right armers. We've seen a bit of footage of them. But for us, it's again making sure that we play to our strength. If we play our best game tomorrow, we should go through.